Action News, live at 11, continues. You can run, but you can't hide. That's Contact 13's message to the president of Sun City Anthem's HOA. We recently inducted him into our HOA Hall of Shame. At first, he dodged questions from Chief Investigator Darcy Spears, but she didn't give up. Instead, she tracked him down and demanded answers. Hey, Jack, I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. We've tried reaching you a few times. Can you talk to us about what's going on with the fence? No. Sun City Anthem HOA President Jack Troya still doesn't want to talk about what he and fellow board members are doing to Doris Vessio. I'm just so upset today with this that I, it's hard for me to talk. The 85-year-old widow, who goes by the nickname Penny, has been fighting with Troya and the Sun City Anthem board for more than six months over this. A fence she put on top of her backyard walls after a coyote nearly killed one of her dogs. Penny is deaf without her hearing aids and counts on her dogs to alert her to noises at night. This is not a good thing for our community. Especially because Penny got approval from the HOA's Architectural Review Committee not once, but twice to put up these fences. Eight months later, they told her to take them down because they claimed the contractor violated community rules by making them too tall. She was also fined $100 a week by the board. After our investigation began, she made one final appeal. I thought maybe that we were going to be able to uh, have some reasonable, sensible answers and that uh, things, the fines would be waived and I would be able to keep my fence, but that's not true. The board did waive her fines and voted to let her keep the fence, but only for two years. Then, Troya called her in for a meeting after our Hall of Shame story aired. How were they explaining why this makes sense, this two-year stay of execution? He, he uh, just said that we're all done. I had my chance uh, before, and we're not ch talking about anything different today. Troya gave her this letter, saying if the fence isn't down in two years, the fines begin again. He also forced her to give him a letter apologizing to the board and waiving their confidentiality requirement regarding her case. You forced her to sign a, a waiver of the confidentiality. So no, I have no comment. Talk. I can have no comment whatsoever. It's a matter that's subject to confidentiality. But you guys had her sign that letter End releasing story. you from End the confidentiality. Story. So how is that the end of the story? He heads for the community restaurant, but we're not done. Don't you think you guys should grant her a variance? I mean, where's the rule of reason or common sense in this case? Sun City Anthem's own <coughs> rules say they can grant variances for special circumstances, mm -hmm. such as topography, hardship, or environmental considerations, all of which exist in Penny's case. <coughs> Variances also require approval of surrounding neighbors, which Penny has. But the bottom line is, they can just let you have the fence if they want to. They could if they wanted to, but they have voted the negatively on that. Uh, it's over. Take a look at this. Back in May, an inspector sent by the HOA to Penny's house recommended that the board allow her to keep the fence at eight feet. Despite that, the ARC subcommittee voted 6 to 1 against the recommendation for fear of setting a precedent. Bob Alvin <coughs> is Penny's lawyer. Uh, the only thing dangerous here is the coyote attacking Doris's dogs. The, there's no precedent value in granting a variance. By definition, that's what a variance is. Twelve other homes in Sun City Anthem have fences higher than the six feet community rules allow. But on Penny's, they won't budge because it might mean admitting they were wrong when they approved it. But they're more focused on their own uh, egos and looking good and less concerned with the good of the community and the uh, safety of homeowners. If you feel so strongly about your decision, why won't you stand behind it? Uh, that's the way they play the game. That's, that, it's his game. I'm just a victim in this. We take one more crack at him. Jack, don't you think your members deserve to hear a little something from you? It seems all he's interested in is lunch. Sun City Anthem residents have been ranting about Troya's antics in internet blogs and emails sent to us here at Contact 13. Their biggest concern is they say he plans to run for the board again. He may be voted out there, but he will forever remain in our HOA Hall of Shame. On a side note, 
Contact 13 just learned that the Sun City Anthem HOA board has much bigger things to worry about right about now than a few feet of fence. They were just audited by the IRS and told they owe more than $1.3 million in back taxes and penalties on money they collected from residents and kept in a surplus account. Darcy Spears, Channel 13, Action News. And Action News is also following the progress of several bills before the legislature that would address abuse of power in HOAs and return some rights to homeowners. Look for future stories on what lawmakers are planning and send us your nominations for future HOA Hall of Shamers. You can email Darcy directly at 13investigates at ktnv.com. Now to a sensitive case involving an American...